Hi, hello, welcome back to home school. How are you all? I hope everybody is doing good and everybody are busy in their revision schedules. So from today onwards, I'm going to provide you some of the most important and expected questions for your annual examination. As you all know that complete content of mathematics and science is available in the channel. If you want to check for it, just Google homeschool channel. In that you search for yellow color uh, homeschool logo. There you can go for NCRT or CBSC board. There class 10 mathematics in that all 15 chapters. If you press any one chapter, there you can see order of the videos where each and every problem is covered from the chapter. Not only chapter, I have covered uh, easy, how to score easy 50 marks, passing package, MCQ questions, everything is available there. If you check properly, old question papers, annual question papers it might be, supplementary papers it might be, uh, preparatory papers, every paper you can get a solution in our homeschool channel. From today onwards, I am going to give you some problems feed for you. The difficulty, what you feel, that difficulty problem, I will make it easy. Today in this session, I am going to discuss with you Class 10 Mathematics 2022-23 Blueprint. You can see each and every chapter on the board. This is a blueprint guest for Karnataka State Board. So as you all know that, uh, before this pandemic 2-3 years before what we have question paper pattern the same question paper pattern is repeated this year so accordingly we can see the blueprint here so you can see all the 15 chapters on board first chapter arithmetic progressions the weightage we can guess for this is 6 marks in this you can get a 2 marks question and a 4 marks question 4 marks question compulsory 2 marks question we can get any nth term or sn term and second chapter triangles 8 marks weightage we may get 1 mark for statement either bpt uh, statement of pythagoras theorem like this we can get 1 mark statement 2 marks 1 problem and 5 marks theorem 95 percent we can expect 5 marks theorem from this chapter sometimes it may change to other chapter also Third chapter, pair of linear equations in two variables, 8 marks weightage, 2 marks one question and another 2 marks and 4 marks. We may expect one compulsory graph carries 4 marks. Coming to these two problems, either they may give 2 equations and they ask to solve in any method or any problem. Fourth chapter, circles, 4 marks weightage, 1 mark it may be bit or an MCQ question. 3 marks, there are 2 theorems, 1 theorem is fixed from this chapter. Coming to your 5th chapter, areas related to circles, weightage will be 3 marks. We can expect 1 plus 2, 1 bit, one mark bit it might be or a 2 marks question. Or it may change to 4 marks also, 3 marks question and 1 mark bit or a formula they may ask for you. So sometimes a mark may be varying. Sixth, constructions, five or six marks. Either they may give you two marks, a line segment or a tangent, three marks, similar triangle. Or three marks, they may give external point tangent, four marks, they may ask you similar triangle construction. So little one mark may be varying here. Seventh, coordinate geometry, we can expect five marks. One one mark question, either it may be distance formula, section formula, formula oriented. 2 marks, 2 questions will be asked. Real numbers, 8 chapter real numbers. We can expect 4 marks, 1 1 mark question and 3 mark question. Polynomials, 6 marks weightage, 1 mark question, 2 mark and 3 marks. Quadratic equations, 6 marks weightage, 1 plus 2 plus 3. 1 mark, uh, it may be any formula or any simple question they may ask or find the roots of the quadratic equation they may ask then coming to two marks solve the equation they may give you three marks verbal problem 11th chapter introduction to trigonometry five marks we can expect one two marks question and three marks question 12th chapter some application of trigonometry compulsory we can expect four marks 
four marks either they may give you one single question or they may split this chapter as one bit and three marks question. 13th chapter statistics six marks. We all know that in statistics four questions are compulsory. Among the four two you need to write and the internal choice will be given for you. Two questions are compulsory each carries three marks. There you go with six marks. 14th chapter probability it carries three marks one bit and one two marks question they may ask. 15 chapter surface areas and volumes 7 marks weightage we can expect one mark a formula oriented question that means what is CSA of a cone uh, CSA of a cylinder CSA of a sphere like this any one question they may ask you and two marks one formula oriented problem uh, four marks we can expect some application problem in this chapter so let us add all this 6 plus 8 14 14 plus 8 22 22 plus 4 26 29 34 39 43 49 55 60 64 70 73 80 so total your question paper is for 80 marks right this is your SSLC Mathematics 2022-23 expected blueprint. And as you all know that externally you are writing exam for 80 marks and internally you are going to get 20 marks. So total 80 plus 20 will be 100 marks. Total mathematics you are going to score 100 marks. So that's all for this blueprint. One or two marks may be varying from one or the other chapter. So in our next session, we are going to come up with the model question paper and important questions for your SSLC. Wish you all good luck children. Thank you.